Now, I know it's early days, but I'm already sitting down, but on a very, very comfy seat because I am here on a quad bike sitting next to a very burly security man, David Boswell, who is the MD of Definitive Security Solutions. So tell me a little bit about yourselves, David. Okay, Definitive Security Services set up in about 2006, and since then, the event side of the business really has grown. Up until last year, we were pretty much like a one-stop shop, um, dealing with your static security, your stewards. But 2011 through to 2012, we've kind of advanced ourselves now, whereby we're providing self-policing infrastructures. And by that, what I mean is the training that we go through, we can now go into events and replace police and support police. So event organisers can now make a huge saving. And also it's great for members of the public because of it's a reassurance for them to see a natural professional infrastructure in place. That's not to say that there's anything wrong with the standard security out there, but obviously as times go on, events get bigger, you know, there are more risks, and so there is a need for, for a more depth of uh, training of, of security, which is response. And what do you see as the challenges facing big events in terms of security these days? I mean, there's major challenges with, with events. I mean, more people on a social level, they like to go there and enjoy themselves, and that does mean having a few drinks here and there. Um, occasional recreational drug news, which we have to control as well. You know, disturbances, um, you know, if, if people, you know, a, a fight, I suppose, is, is the common term used, and that's what we have to deal with. But, you know, nine times out of ten, it's great for officers, you know, highly customer service skilled, you know, to talk the situation down. But, you know, if... if if, if the escalation does, you know, get that high, then we, we do need to step in. And again, with the training, the equipment that we can use, you know, that, that, that's our most challenges, you know, at events. Now, David, just a bit of a cheeky question. Um, what's been your kind of most scary, high-risk security situation that you've ever been involved in? Um, I suppose my, uh, myself, I mean, myself and my team, it was an event last year at a, at a steam rally. It was a fantastic event, um, but when we got in there, there, there was an altercation at the bar. Something very simple, and this is how most situations escalate, from something very simple to something very large. Ended up having a full nine-man team in there trying to deal with it because of, you have the, you know, the immediate people involved and then other members get involved as well. So, I mean, it was dealt with very quickly. Fortunately, we were able to carry restraints such as handcuffs, PPE, uh, and use these and, and, and calm the situation down. But, I mean, it was scary, especially, you know, for people around you have to try and reassure them as well. You know, there was some injuries involved. But, you know, again, that's part and parcel of the job, and that's why we're here. That's why we're trained to the level what we are, so we can deal with these high-risk situations. So you're allowed to carry. What, so what are you carrying on you right now? What have we got going on? Okay, on, on us right now, we, we have handcuffs, obviously, like the police carry. We also carry spray. We haven't got that on us today, just in case anybody grabs hold of it and starts spraying it about. We don't really want that happening. It's not the same as uh, what the police use, like incapacitate. It's like a fab gel that goes um, over the face. You, you direct it at the face and then it sticks to you and it also dyes the skin as well. So if there is an offender at an event, especially large scale as well, you're talking thousands of people and they get involved, our officers can deploy a spray and it stains them so they can easily be identified, which is fantastic. Obviously we have our radio comms, um, which is you know paramount for our services. Is if, if we don't have communication, we can't operate. And then recently, I've just invested in the business of these CCTV cameras. Basically, what happens, I mean, they're fantastic. You pull them down like that, and straight away, it's a wide-angle um, viewing with audio, and that's capturing right now. So when officers go into a situation, they'll pull that down, and once the situation's finished, they'll put the um, slot back up, and then that saves it in a frame. So when we download that in our command unit, if police or anybody else needs it for evidential purposes, then we have them in freeze frames. It's a fantastic piece of kit, and like I say, it's just a, another investment for Divinity, taking it one step further for the event organiser. And taking it one step further, here I am sitting on a lovely quad bike. I am side-saddling to save my dignity, but um, tell me a little bit about this. How long have you been using the quad bikes? How useful are they? Again, quad bikes are a new investment for the business. We brought them into service um, last year purposely because of when we're at the, um, when we're at the events, etc. Range Rovers, what we've got, and the 4x4s, trying to get through the, the, the crowd profile is, is near on impossible, regardless of whether the blue lights or not, because sometimes the, the crowd just can't move out of the way. But for quad bikes, I mean, this one's specifically designed with two seats. You can get through nice and easily. You can get through smaller gaps, which, you know, your, your 4x4s can't. So without these now, we, we wouldn't be able to operate as quick. I mean, if you go on to, like, campsites where you're at festivals, to get from one end to the other, by the time you get there, you're normally out of breath, at the end of the day, it's an emergency situation going on that we're often called to. So to get there quickly and safely, you know, these are absolutely perfect for it. Well, it's been fabulous talking to you. Lovely talking to such a lovely man as well. But I believe we are passing it over to Ryan. So thank you so much. And Karen, enjoying your confects. Thank you.